Okay, today we're going to start getting into some of the f more fun stuff. I almost said funner, and then people give me a hard time when I say that. Some more fun stuff uh, with uh, video editing from our shell using uh, Melt uh, and MLT. Um, and we're going to start working with filters, which are uh, kind of effects and just editing the, the look of the video uh, and or audio in some cases, but we're going to look mainly at video today. Um, so real quick, let's... Uh, say real quick uh i'll show you that i've got my videos in here the movs are the uh converted videos from my camera um and there are a bunch of filters that mlt offers so i'm going to uh say mlt dash query uh and then i'm going to say filters and it will list all the filters that are available bunch of audio ones, some video ones. Um, so let's say we wanted to make our video uh, black and white or actually grayscale. Well, it looks like they have grayscale in here. Uh, I don't know if there's a difference. I've been using this one. Uh, they may have just put it in there because gray can be spelt two different ways depending on what country you live in or how you feel that day. Um, <clears throat> so there's our grayscale filter. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, we're going to say MLT, then the uh, name of one of our, well, we'll just say all our videos. We'll just play them all. Uh, so all dot MOV. In my case, your files might have a different extension. Remember, it is case sensitive. Then I'm going to say filter and grayscale. Go ahead and hit enter, and it will preview all our videos here. Now, instead of color, they are in a grayscale. Um, also, sometimes when I do uh, grayscale stuff, I, I, one of the things I like to do with videos uh, is vignettes. So let's have a look at a vignette and we'll look at some more options for it. So let's actually go back and uh, instead of uh, grayscale, we'll just add a vignette for now. So I'll say filter vignette, which is just kind of a black border around your video. By default, the default settings, it's kind of harsh. It's a very sharp circle here. A uh, little too dark. I like it a little more blended in. So let's look at our options for that filter. So what we can do, instead of just running it, what we're going to do is we're going to say dash query, just like we queried filters before. But instead of querying all filters, we're going to query the vignette filter. So... Um, we can get rid of the MOV here. So melt query filter equals vignette. And it will show us all the options for the vignette. Um, you can see these little dash marks. These are new, new settings. And then there's the parameters for those settings. So we have our identifier here, smooth. Title, it's feathering. Um, and it gives you some options here. Mainly we want to look at the minimum and maximum which in theory you would think that the minimum would be the lowest you can go and the maximum is the highest. Turns out that's not true. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if that's just a typo in here or not, um, but with the vignette, you can go higher than one and I actually like it around four or five. But uh, most uh, the settings, it seems in MLT are uh, settings from zero to one. Um, so uh, I am going to change the smoothness of that uh, that uh, vignette eventually. Actually, let's play with radius first because you'll see that a little bit uh, clearer, I think. So once again, I'll play all my videos. So uh, we're going to run melt uh, all my MOV files using the filter of vignette. And this is what it looks like by default. You can see the black border around the video here. Run that same thing, but this time I'm going to say radius equals. Oh, and by the way, if we scroll back up here, it also tells you the default. So if you don't type in anything, radius by default is 0.5. So let me set that. Instead of 0.5, I'll set it to 0 0.2. And you'll see a much smaller circle. Also, you can go higher. Instead of 0.5, I can go 1. And that is so big it isn't even on the video anymore. 
Instead of 0 0.5, we can do 0 0.55, and it'll be slightly bigger than the initial one. So you can get just a little bit around the edges here. So, you know, you may like that, like that. I personally like changing the smooth for vignette. And as I said earlier, I like setting it to like four or five. I like very faded. Also, it also depends on the video. So you can see it's, it's actually blending all the way down to, you can see a little bit clear on the white wall there, but it was coming down to here. Uh, so it definitely makes the video darker. Uh, you may not want that look. All depends on what you're going for. It's, it's an art. I'm teaching you that the, the techniques, uh, it's up to you to come up with the artistic view of that. So that's a vignette effect. So now we can take that and we can also add another filter of grayscale. So now we have the vignette with a grayscale. Uh, with uh, vignettes or with grayscale, sometimes I like to add a filter of grain. and it makes the video grainy. Uh, and that's great if you're going to use an old film effect. So filter old film, which has lots of options in it, but we're just gonna go with the defaults, which kind of adds a flicker to the video. Um, there's also options for scratch lines and, and how if the video jerks up and down. Um, so, we kind of made an old film. If you've watched my tutorials on Caden Line in the past, I actually like using this incorporation with an overlay uh, to get a more realistic effect. But just going ba with the basic filters here, we're creating a video here. You'll also notice, well, you may, may or may not notice, it's jerkier. Um, I'm screen recording here. I'm recording at like 15 frames a second. So pretty much all the videos I'm showing you are probably a little jerky. Um, but that's because we're doing a preview here. It's showing it real time, so it's dropping frames. If we were to save this to an output uh, video, uh, it, it won't play this jerky. I mean, unless we, if we're doing a film, we might set the frame rate lower to get that feel. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and run that same command. So we're using melt. All our MOV files are running a filter of vignette. I'm smoothing it to four because I like a nice smooth vignette. A filter of grayscale filter of grain uh, that has settings as well you can go in and change same as a filter for old film there's a lot of settings for that I'm just using the defaults so I'm using all the default settings for these filters except for the smooth for the vignette next we're going to say consumer if I could type today consumer AV format and then colon and the name of our file. I'll call this old film onevi I'm going to use a video codec of uh, XVID. So I'm going to use the library for XVID. So lib XVID. And we'll give it a quality rate of 5000K. And we'll hit enter. Now with all these filters, it is going to slow down the rendering process somewhat. Uh, you can see it going here. I'll post our final little render video here uh, at the end of this video. Um, once again, this is, I think, part five of my tutorials uh, on this. Be sure, I should have said at the beginning, be sure to watch the others. There should be a playlist on my YouTube channel. Hopefully, I, maybe I put annotations to a playlist or check the description. If not, just go to my my filmsbychris.com, my website should be a link in the description, or my YouTube channel, look at playlists. All these videos should be in a playlist together in order. Um, probably labeled something like uh, shell video editing or video editing from the uh, shell or with shell scripts. It, it will be there. Uh, I suggest watching them in order or else you'll probably be a little lost. Um, but yeah, we're getting into fun stuff with this. Um, and we could definitely create a video completely from the command line now. Uh, using this. I, I added the filters to all the videos. Um, you can add them to individual clips. Uh, so yeah, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Link in the description. Check out the site. Check out the help button if you need help. And also, uh, you know, think about donating. There's a donate button there. I hope you have a great day. And here is the render of that video.